and I had to tell my story about how I'm how I'm owing a lot to my mother and and, and during that time she was having uh, already like being ill and and struggling with dementia and I wanted to give also her something back and just be aware of the fact that it's not normal having moms mm, mm. like for, for for longer or your mom pa passed away when you were young 16, yeah. 16. so it's it's been uh, also yeah a very yeah a very not a tough year I just feel like it's it made me grow a lot as mm. a person also I also I've been I've been watching your your content lately. I was watching to the, I was watching the film that was amazing. The, the five thousand five thousand miles. miles. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, yeah. Now it connects. Now, now, now it makes and, sense. Yeah, now it makes Hopefully. sense. Hopefully, yeah. <laughs> for me, it does. For yeah. me, it does. And my favorite favorite music video at the moment it has to be creatures. Oh, come the creatures out to hell inside. <laughs> Boy, Kaufman, I'm out in Cape Town. No cool, let's go Barcelona. My chicken man, cloud in the pole. South Africa, man. It's yet another beautiful episode of the Black Couch. Bendy chilo, bendy chilo. I said it, guys. We have an international guest today on the Black Couch, and he goes by the name of Louis Hill, all the way from Germany, Berlin, right, or Hamburg. Berlin. Berlin. Yes. You, Berlin. You, 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 you reside in, in Berlin now. Yeah, seven years already. Awe, I'm, in, I'm living in Berlin. Awe. Coming from w a small town. Welcome back to South Africa, man. Welcome Yo, back. Thank you. I Fi mean, finally, it's, it's been, been like two three years? years? Three? 19, uh, 2019. 2019. Yeah, yeah. Three years. The last almost time, three yeah. years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of the same time of the year. Yeah, yeah. Time flies. Time flies. Crazy. Yeah, Crazy. man. You good? Yes, I'm. I'm. I'm doing. Now I'm here. I really do very good. Oh, we, it's how, such a such how, a blessing. Such a good time. How's the vibe here now? It's for it, you. It feels like it changed a bit, like all over the world, for sure. It changed, uh, and Alcos can sense that some things have changed also here. Mm. And but no, it's like for me, it's. I feel like I'm coming here every time I I start to breathe in a very different mode like I have more more the sun is out there we you know, in Berlin it's just great it's like we have below degrees <laughs> like below zero and that's uh, very different to here and all these people like they they're having so much to give and so many like I see so many laughing faces mm, mm. which just gives me pleasure Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. This is the first ever episode that we have like uh, someone from um, abroad besides the Instagram version that we did mm -hmm. back in 2020. Remember that one? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, that's where it all started. The whole uh, streaming. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Interviews. It, and then, and then at, at some point I saw that people are getting back to work. They getting back to whatever they were doing before lockdown. So the numbers on Instagram started to go down. Mm -hmm. So I needed to 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 revamp the whole idea, and then I think it's a great idea now. to put it yeah. on. Also, YouTube have it there as a as a episode you, you always can look at or mm. show to friends, and it's not like just streamed and there it goes into into yeah, it's vanished. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. So for the people who are watching at home, the the the, the may hammers as I call them. Um, the subscribers, my lovely subscribers, guys, we've passed, uh, I think, 260 something now. Um, thank you so much. You, you are so amazing. Kindly, kindly, like, give them an idea of who, like, uh, Louis Hill is and where he comes from. So, yeah, I go by the name, name of Louis Hill, which is not my original name, it's my artist name. Um, I started music very early ago when I was like 12 and had like music uh, doing music with my um, schoolmates 
and I was like uh, screaming into a microphone and someone's playing three chords roughly uh, someone could hold a beat on a drum set so we formed a band that was actually the the initial spark of me be becoming something like a musician I was always kind of very much driven to music music because of my family background and, and, and my brother was putting on records all the time funk and soul and blues and all that that stuff so that influenced me and um, way later I decided to record my own music mm -hmm. I became a drummer I was studying uh, like jazz drumming and, and was very much into this uh, practicing every day like crazy five to six hours and after my studies I more and more got a little bit fed up with sitting there and waiting for people to compose music with me together in a group because you're mm. always like it's a democratic process in a way mm, mm. but someone is always the leader yeah, yeah yeah and then you're like yeah but you have your really own at one point i feel like i have my own ideas mm, mm. i want to have this bridge or this chorus be like more energetic or mm. this this other part more like i don't know more mellow and and then i decided to try to record this on my own and just be s not depending on band members yeah when when was that that must have been 2005 mm. around that time yeah i or seven i uh, put out my first um record 2008 mm -hmm. self-produced uh, self-recorded and written so it was all me and I wanted yeah. to put it put this out and I felt like okay once this is like out there at some record label and they will like sign me yeah, yeah. right away no, not to nothing cut happened you, <laughs> no, not to cut you but like I want you to like try and picture like uh, paint a picture for me like in terms of the music industry in, in, in Germany like I'm sure it's different from how we do here in South Africa but for like an independent artist is it easy to 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 get you like in a in, in the right space as an artist in Germany I think there are possibilities to to expose what your art for sure there are clubs there are venues and all that but you have to have to have some quality stuff it's mm. it can't be just I'm doing this mm. from now on and I uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be hurt so it's I think it's a combination of just sticking to it and and, and staying to your to yourself and what you really have have a plan what you really want to sound like and then or just yeah be something unique mm. and unique is always being yourself in a way that's a pretty Pretty, pretty easy lane actually yeah 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 when, when did you meet uh, Fil filter music group so filter music group is the record label that I'm working together with and I actually got them excited on my music mm -hmm. while I was touring with another uh, another artist here in, in um, South Africa in late 2016 going into 17 I was touring here with a guy called Tom James and at one festival like the last festival I met the guys from Filter Music Group they they were at this festival and I played one of my songs and then we sat together and I showed them my demos and then that was 17 yeah mm. so we started to work together 2017 yeah also Berlin based label and yeah we know so, so before before 5,000 miles did, did you have like singles no, actually, because I, after 10 years going on a, on my old kind of um, artist name, which was Phil Phil, I Phil start, Phil, Phil, P-H-I-L, <laughs> F-I-L-L, -L. Oh. little world play, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I felt like I need something new, I need, yeah. need to renew myself, Yeah. and this is how, like, 5,000 Miles, which is a song I recorded mainly here in South Africa, um, I that was my first single mm. uh, being released under the name of Louis Hill mm. yeah. and yeah it's all it's all very connected and root like not rooted but this the start of my um, really first song 
wouldn't have been there without coming here. Mm, mm. Mm, mm. Tell, tell, tell me about that. I know, I know we've, we've once spoke about the experience like of coming this side and, and, and actually seeing a different scene from where you come from. How, how was your like, first time here? The experience it was it was just uh, a relief of a lot of things because I was just uh, okay caught in some kind of depression um, I was on a tour with another musician or like um, I wasn't even a musician but with a group playing music and we were touring and I sat there in the bus and I was really like this is not the I, I want to be somewhere else mm. I want to be where um, all this is kind of behind me because mm. of my during that time I uh, my dad was uh, just passed away have passed away and I like was in a relationship that wasn't really healthy in a way for for both both of us so it's just like after I come I was coming here it was from one day to another a switch mm. like wow this is how it can feel like mm. being away, but coping with problems that are over there. Mm. And now I have a look from 5,000 miles because 5,000 miles is the distance between Berlin and, and Cape, Town. Cape Town. So I had a better view on it actually, mm. far, far away, but I could put it in a better picture for me mm. in a more healthy picture. Yeah. Would you also say that it also helped in terms of production because I know like off, off camera you said that um, most of the parts of, of the songs was, was samples. You even talked about the bird yes. that you sampled. The, um, what's it called? The, I forget the name. Um, Ladida. La the Ladida. Yeah, yeah. Like the. <laughs> I had yeah. like this bird was flying over my, my house all the time. And I, at one point I tried to record it. And I, the next day I tried to record it and always like wasn't really on the mic and yeah. then uh, I caught it once and I, I put it in that song as a and it sounds like a synthesizer if you put a lot of reverb and like some effects on it it yeah. sounded like a weird sounding synthesizer and I put it in and I caught you guys in gardens singing mm. um, like um, a, like a Ololo by by Babe so to move. Yes, yeah, like yeah, a, yeah. like a um, stripped down version of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And was putting it in to the intro and outro of the song. Mm. It was weirdly in the same like crazy. It was in the same pitch mm. as the song that I was r working on. Yeah, it was, yeah. you was in C. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes. So yeah. um, crazy birds. Um, the, you also told me at the taxi rank that side. Yes, so the taxi rank. I the just MDMs. conversations yeah. in in Corsa. Yeah, and this was all like I had to suck this in, like really, uh, because it was so new to me. And I really wanted to make a piece of music that is referring mm. to where I am right now, which is mm. just yeah. So like uh, writing, writing five thousand miles then led to you making a full album. Like, yeah. What was that? What you always been longing for as an artist to have your own album? I mean, I've been, rec I had record, I was recording two albums before under a different name, so I was kind of experienced in a way how mm. ten or twelve songs can be recorded, mm. but at this point I had. I had stopped kind of I, I wasn't releasing music for sev six to seven years mm. actually um, in a full-length album so I felt like I'm I know what I want to say more I know how to use my voice better and um, so I was super excited on re recording this album after quite a long pause yeah. and also having the setup of an actual record label who's putting my music out before yeah. that I was just like I tried to mm. uh, but it was always like here's my CD <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah and um, no airplay nothing like and it was before sp actually Spotify started in 2010 or something like the streaming platforms were there mm. but I wasn't there I wasn't really like having Not any big yeah. big audience so yeah. it was just 
same good good things came together and I felt like I had to take my stretch of maybe 10 years producing music yeah, writing yeah. music to be on on a certain level that this would also in interest or, or, or um, that people would like this maybe all over the world yeah yeah, yeah. which kind of happened right now yeah <laughs> I, I see that um, like after releasing everything you started going on tours I saw the tours mm -hmm. that you were going to um, interviews on radio stations yeah and uh, live performances on was it on TV I think um, and I also heard your yeah. song in a series. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah in a Netflix uh, yeah. series, yes. So so this happened with my... Um, all through the label and also through the exposure of my music that people got to know my music more and more and mm. the, the guys who were putting that, that music into their documentary, the Biking Borders documentary, they were actually coming to a concert of mine and asked me, yo, we love your song, Revolver. Mm. And it's like the perfect fit to our um, documentary we're, we're working on. Can we use it? And then, yeah, it also, I see like this uh, influenced also the Shazam rate a lot <laughs> 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 yeah, on yeah, that song. Yeah. That's great, man. Mm. And guys, just to give you a background context, like um, we met in Companies Garden, right? Yeah. Um, after a year when you had released uh, 5,000 5, miles. miles and then um, that day I remember you guys inviting me to, to come through in Kems Bay yeah yeah, yeah yeah I think I spent I spent I spent the night right yeah I slept you slept when I, when I played for everyone we had a I remember uh, playing for session. everyone yeah yeah and then I slept over and then the following day everyone was just out and about and then we left at the at the flat weren't we also already starting to work on on that track yeah yeah the track the track the yeah we're working track. on rusty strings and you like you like um, capturing sounds live because we're mm -hmm. capturing um, the guitar yes. and then also what were you tapping uh, I, I used like a uh, chair for yeah, bongo which yeah, is actually yeah, yeah, in yeah. there as a bongo yeah. or conga yeah sound. if if you <laughs> listen exactly to rusty strings you will hear that and then after that we we shot we shot the music video when you went back to to germany you finished off the song that side and then we shot the music video on the same day i was using um nokia windows phone and then you were using a gopro right I think we also used uh, no, just a regular iPhone. Or iPhone, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And was it Yannick? Uh, yes, Jan. Jan, Jan, Jan. Who he was edited? He was editing the video, and we were in Berlin. It was freezing cold. You were here in Google warm, warm. warm. It was such a yeah. Your colors from here that it was so amazing. And yeah. we were just in this very miserable place, Berlin, <laughs> walking around. Yeah, people really love that video. It's currently sitting on I think twenty five k views now. Yeah, it's 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 really amazing. And watching it, it also I also see how much things have changed. And yeah, how much how much things have changed that side like since lockdown came in, mm -hmm. and like as a musician living in Berlin and um, you normally used to gigging for like crowds mm. numbers of people how did the change affect everything you know it was a huge impact on my life in in general because i stopped playing live and i realized how much i was playing live before it may, might have been even a, a bit too much because you never realize how much stress is actually in your body mm whilst you're just going from A to B to C and feel like, yeah, this is normal, like traveling, I love it. I, people want to hear my music, so I'll be there. Uh, or and, and I also was opening an opening act for a way bigger act during that time, traveling through Germany and all of a sudden stop, handbrake on. Yeah. You, you're not wanted anywhere. You you wanted in your bed right now. Yeah. You can you can chill now and, and and realize what's actually going on, what was going on before, what is going on now, 
And I more and more, after a period of time writing music and was really inspired by the fact that everybody is dealing with the same thing, with the same problem in f certainly different ways. And um, But we're, we're struggling with the same problem all around the world. So I was inspired by this and writing an EP during the first um, half year of the lockdown. Um, but then I realized, yeah, I want to be in front of people. Mm. I'm missing playing live. And also, <laughs> my bank account is missing me yeah. playing live. <laughs> you know, yeah, it was, yeah. I didn't yeah. realize that it was actually, yeah, I was living of it. Mm. And then I had to find a way to um, get, yeah, to adjust to it. And, 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 and But beside of the money aspect, it's just, it's just what we are actually what we what we are fueled with the applause people are having a good time mm. to what you're doing you just let people escape to a to a different place mm. where you, your music is happening and you just can be like just forget everything and and that was so so um nice to see all the time before the lockdown yeah um and then i missed it a lot so and now it's coming slowly slowly coming back yeah. uh, we are still like I have played a few shows 2021 but that's like 10% of what actually was going on before yeah. and I hope like this year 2022 um, everything will will kind of come to a level where we all can enjoy ourselves again yeah. I must say like um, I'll, I owe you it's a great follow up from my verse mm -hmm. yeah Mm -hmm. You remember my verse, Mama? Can you help me, me as I'm taking the stab? And then I you be did a good I, kid and start to rap. <laughs> and I was like, after that, you did I owe you. Mm -hmm. I was like, that's a great follow up song to coming from Rusty Strings because mm -hmm. the storyline is connected. It's dedication to our moms. Yeah, like, um, yeah. Without we uh, would never be here. Uh, that's. And I had to tell my story about how I'm, how I'm, owing a lot to my mother, and and, and during that time she was having uh, already like being ill and and struggling with dementia, and I wanted to give also her something back and just be aware of the fact that it's not normal having moms mm, mm. like for, for for longer or your mom pa passed away when you were young 16, yeah. 16 so it's it's been uh, also yeah a very yeah a very not a tough year I just feel like it's it made me grow a lot as mm. a person I also I also I've been I've been watching your your content lately I was watching to the I was watching the film that was amazing the, the 5,000 5, miles, miles. yeah 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 that's, yeah now it connects now now, now it makes and, sense yeah now it makes Hopefully. sense <laughs> yeah for me it does for yeah. me it does and my favorite favorite music video at the moment it has to be creatures oh come the creatures i do hell inside <laughs> <laughs> i love i love the video the 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 humor in the video yeah who, who directed that Actually, it's a it's a collaboration of um, Nicolas Blanchardet. He's a French photographer and, and filmer that I ran into in Berlin. And yeah, it was us coming up with a story and how to bring all these people together. And what's it? Oh, yeah, having like because it's about creatures in your head. It's creatures that you live with mm. that are sometimes speaking to you in weird voices and then mm. you let them speak a little bit louder or you try to suppress them but they're always there yeah yeah so during lockdown i felt like these were amped up wow. they were like speaking loud to me yeah 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 <laughs> and i wanted to yeah make a make a song that's kind of also in this a bit funny yeah. cheek like cheeky uh, cheeky song that is uh, that is telling of that uh, weird momentum that you're in. Mm. It's nah, a fun, yeah. It's I really love it. Nice yeah, it's, 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 nice. it's a very nice song. What are you currently working on now? 
I am now working on actually at my second album, mm -hmm. second Louis Hill album, and yeah, I was just after the EP that I put out a bit in a writer's block, or uh, I couldn't really, I didn't know what to, to write about, like sitting at home, <laughs> mm -hmm. um, because I was always kind of influenced by meeting people that I meet for the first time or traveling and seeing other other people doing their stuff mm -hmm. so and I couldn't do that for quite a while but now I feel like I have to travel in my mind I have to travel somewhere else mm. um, or telling s stories out of a per perspective of someone else not always me which is um, also quite a dull thing like uh, telling mm. always about what I'm going through, what I'm suffering of, or what I'm feeling enlightened with. Um, go and fantasize about someone else could be the next step to just have, have a little bit more to open up the your straight jacket. Mm. But yeah. <laughs> if that makes sense, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> now, now that you are in Cape Town, like, do you feel like you are inspired to, to make music? Yeah, are you making def music now? I didn't have time because every day was a rush. It was yeah. really like going from meeting people that I haven't seen for such a long time, including you, and 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 it's it's just like uh, not enough time right now. But I think within the next days, I brought a little bit of my equipment with me so I can actually dive into recording music again. No, really. lovely. Nah, that would be <laughs> great, Bobsy. Hello. Hi. Mchani. The grand one, ah. The right one, um. The team yam guys call and I'm like Happy New Year. Happy New Year. The, the, the team is around. Yeah. Yeah. Got <laughs> this. <laughs> What's the time now? Twenty-four. Twenty-four. Five. Now we still have a lot of time, man. We still oh, have man. a lot of time, and I feel like, like hmm. yo, it's amazing that you are back here after like three years. It's unbelievable, especially at the time that like hard lockdown was in, and then we all thought like that's like the end of it. Like mm. we'd never travel again, we'd yeah. never see each other again. It's only gonna be like online, and and like hosting you on the Instagram live live. Uh, they were called real talks at that mm -hmm. time. It was so amazing, and mm -hmm. and uh, a lot of people were watching. And they were happy to understand what's happening mm -hmm. on the other side of 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 of, um, of the world. So, like you watching other stuff happening in other countries, especially African countries, would you say like it it helped you to navigate what's really happening around the world? Mm, I mean, I think traveling in general, even though with climate change and everything seems like going for long distance using planes and whatever is not very appropriate mm -hmm. but I feel like people who have the ability or go once to a very very different place and experience a different culture is helping a lot to understand the world mm. you can't just switch the TV on and say like oh look at Africa or look at uh, whatever Japan or you have actually to really know what it is like mm. you have to go there and, 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 and it enriched me a lot mm. coming here yeah now nah, Cape Town Cape Town is a wonderful I want to go to Berlin I'm, I hope yeah and we gonna... should work on this yeah definitely yeah. And, uh, yeah I'm leaving you guys I'm gonna I'm gonna do just black... for short <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do black couch in Berlin Imagine. Yeah, that, that would be that, amazing. That would be great, ne? Yeah, we we should do that. We should definitely do that, man. Um, now, now, mm. now, I'm I'm already getting the idea of 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 doing it in another country. That would be very very yeah. cool. Yes, seeing yeah. you perform there. Um, yeah, I hope once everything what, is a bit more. What What do you think improved. about Ama Piano? We just came from uh, uh, an Ama Piano studio. Now, mm -hmm. what do you, What do you think about that sound? It's very interesting. I feel like I heard it already before in the taxis and so with a uh, with uh, there's a very distinct drum, which is called lock drum, yeah, right? Yeah, lock drum. And I yeah, I'm really drawn to it. I don't know if maybe this in some ways 
maybe it will sink into my music a bit. Mm. But for sure, in the Louis Hill kind of New way, way, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yo, I I love that really like the energetic um, vibe in it, and and uh, also the melody. It's more like melody driven, more uh, melodies in there, which kind of yeah goes along well also with my sound and the uh, norm. Com, com, com. <laughs> com music. Yeah. That was the first time I came here. Was all around, and mm. I uh, also listened to that a lot. It was more repetitive, less melody, more like one chord and one mm. bass line. And and now um, I'm a piano is maybe going a little bit more my alley. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I definitely wanna wanna check out more of the, the artists right now. Yeah. Who are you bumping into? Like in terms, I know last time when you were here, you took some names. Mm -hmm. Who's like the South African artist that yes. you are currently bumping into now? Um, I'm bad with names, but I'm do follow a lot of them <laughs> 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 on Instagram. Yeah. Um, gotta look it up again, but um, it's it's been one. I oh, know I won't find it now because uh, yeah. under pressure. Yeah, oh, you know. <laughs> you're giving me pressure here. <laughs> now, def I'll definitely give you more this time, and then um, also have a local, local. I'm a piano sound. Mm, yeah. So yeah, we're gonna make sure that you get some and some links maybe in the, you know, in the um, in the message board down there. If yeah, you're yeah. out there, can send me some links. Um, yeah, please I'm comment. Comment your favorite your favorite I'm a piano song that would be yeah. awesome yeah man thank you so much man yeah really, thank you man really appreciated that you you came through and then graced us with your presence um in the podcast um you are welcome you this is your home I you, feel you very know welcome it. yeah you know it you, this is your home and um yeah man hi 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 to Ginny Hi, hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're not alone. Yeah, yeah. So, I'm, I'm, we're going to try out Tomakuinya now. Are you ready for Tomakuinya? Yes. Yeah. We're going to eat Tomakuinya. Yeah, I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to eat Tomakuinya. Um, shout out, man. Please check out his music. It's Louis Hill. L-U-I. Hill as in Hill. Hill. H. I L L a hill like signal hill right the right on yeah man <laughs> you'll see one of our songs um rusty strings we'll probably work on new new music yeah. if we have time definitely gonna work on new music and shout out to everyone who's in germany berlin man shout out everyone record jet shout out to uh filter music group shout out to florian shout out to everyone man Faye, i see you I see everyone, man. I can't, I can't feel. Lucky. <laughs> <laughs> and Owen in Kevin Space. Shout out to you, my brother, man. You are so amazing. Like, yeah, Owen. Yeah, o Owen is so amazing. I'm That's happy legend. that you're back at the house. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I want to make a visit. It's been a while. And and and, and visit the come house. Over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that, that house has a lot of memories. Yes, it does. Yeah, man. Shout out yeah. to everyone who's been watching. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to everyone who's been watching. It's me and guys, so you should understand. Abulela go home, go to man. It's your boy Cough, man. I'm out here in Cape Town. I could go let the puzzle on a match. You make log in a pool. South Africa, man. <laughs> Subscribe. <laughs> Five thousand miles away. <laughs> <laughs> Still find your way back to me There comes a time when there is nothing left to say All words are useless Say the from a thousand miles away This is the time I need your heartbeat next to mine All words are useless If your heart is next to mine <laughs>